Fuji. Yes. It's so nice meeting you. It's nice meeting you. I like your work very, very much. I'm so Thank impressed you. with with the presentations that that, that you make. Mm -hmm. We invite to today mm -hmm. to talk to our audience, to our network, uh, that will get to know you too, and to teach us something that you think that is worth sharing. Yeah, this is one of uh, my press video contents that I used. This is amazing. This is amazing. Yes. I'm using it in the, introducing myself. The, and my name is Fuji. And mm -hmm. making Japanese presentation cool. This oh, is very nice. Catch copy. Yes, very nice. this is my copy. I I'm, like that very much. I creating the, so many presentations. Uh, maybe uh, uh, 50 to 60 in a year. Okay. That's a lot. My client request me to making the presentation like uh, Western design. Uh, I mean, the European or US, the, it's the modern design. But some of my clients in Japan request me to make design in Japanese style. So, so the, until three years ago, I live in Singapore. And now I'm uh -huh. settled in Japan. Most part of my presentation, I make the, the inside Japan, and some of my clients are in the Asia, in Singapore and in India and Thailand. Mm -hmm. And this is the demonstration of the, the construction competition. My presentation. Okay. And sometimes do the product uh, promotion. And sometimes the, uh, 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 the medical presentation I make. Okay. Mm. You also mm. won the Prezi Awards, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Twice. Yes. Luckily, I had twice about it. I think the luck, it's a mm. combination of uh, preparation and opportunity. And and I think that both year in 2018 and 2019, uh, if there was someone that was prepared and that delivered a, an outstanding presentation, it was you. Can you can can you tell us a little about either 2018 or 2019 uh, presentation and and what what was your approach mm -hmm. to actually win the awards? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. This is awarded presentation. The awarded prezi. This is uh, very simple structure. So the, there are four topics. It's very simple. The 2018, the Prezi Award, the, they like a very simple structure. And I'm using simple structure, but the very unique graphic. This is a question to the audience. This is the 2019. This one, the Japanese. Oh, I love that one. Mm -hmm. I love Thank that you. one, Fuji. Thank you. This is very complicated structure. It's a very different approach between 2018 to 2019. So this is my trial to how much complicated structure I can make in Prezi. <laughs> Too much topic I put in, in and so very precise how many, how many topics do you have in that presentation? Oh, I think it's about 50 to 60. Right. It's, mm. it's huge. This is the topic one, and this is the topic two. So this is the mountain. The, yes. And the next one this is another graphic. You in superimpose detail. them. Yeah. You, you, yes. you put them on layers, one mm. on top of the yeah, other. That's right. Yes, that's right. Amazing, amazing. Yes. In that yes. part of the presentation, you are telling the story of the town, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, that's right. So this is my town, and actually this is my family story. So my great-grandfather told me in my childhood, this is an old fairy tale story in my family. It's, it's about 400 years ago. My ancestors had uh, some uh, adventure. <laughs> uh, the graphic looks like uh, Japanese design and the Japanese uh, the texture 
I mean, the, the Japanese traditional paper of this design. Yes, it works. It's, it's like papel mache. Yes, 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 it's a Japanese traditional paper. But this this is all digital. You created all those graphics mm -hmm. digitally, or in some case, you created something physically in paper and took a picture. Most of the time, I make it in digital. And Fuji, what defines Japanese design? What is that, in your point of view, defines what factors can you use to say that this design is on Japanese style? So one of the Japanese style is the, the color. Color is not vivid. The brightness of color is uh, Mate? More, more darker. Yes, that's right. Okay. Coloring is one of the expression of Japanese style. And the, mm -hmm. this is the, the Japanese traditional shape of water, the shape of waves of water. It's used in Japanese uh, makimono, uh, Japanese old codex, thousand years ago using the, this shape. So some Japanese people see this shape thinking it's, it's a Japanese style. Uh, I make the graphic of the Japanese old uh, building. It's right. Not, uh, it's not uh, the modern Japanese building. It's uh, the traditional the old building. It's like a shrine, Japanese old shrine. Right. And the crosses of the character is the old Japanese style, if not a uh, modern one. It's a traditional Japanese kimono. I'm making the atmosphere of the presentation itself has uh, old and the, the, the traditional and Japanese. Old traditional Japanese. Mm. This is amazing. Yeah, but I will not make it again. How long did it take to you to make this presentation? Uh, I'm thinking about it for two months, but uh, making it in PC for five or six days. Okay. Mm. So you were preparing the presentation for two months and then you put yes. it together in five days. Yes, that's right. That's quite some work. This is the next topic here. And are you using a fading for that? Uh, yes, I'm using a fading much, but this is a this is a small part of fade here. Mm -hmm. The most of part I'm using a uh, topic. Here so what you are topic. what you are editing is the topic cover. Yes, editing topic cover here. By the way, uh, oh. that says <laughs> advanced topic editing. Yes, that's right. Covering the previous topic. So what you do is you create a topic and you use mm -hmm. the advanced topic editing and you create a big topic cover yes. with, a, with a version of the graphic. And mm, yes, inside the topic, right. you mm. create a different version of the same topic. Mm -hmm. Yes. And and then to transition from the other to the next mm. one, you use a mm. transparent topic cover and then get into a different a different scene. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah because super at, interesting. At, yeah, at that point, the there is uh, there's no function. The, go back to subtopic. So yeah, I make the dummy subtopic. Yes. So you create a subtopic that is transparent, and when you go into that mm -hmm. subtopic, you are still seeing the background. Is that is that mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, that's right. It's a subtopic the covering in the transparent one. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. This is the Prezi in which you won the Prezi Award 2018. For the best yes. overall design, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, that's right. Yes. And this is uh, here is the topic one and two, three, four. I'm 
make all of the presentations to the subtopic to subtopic to subtopic. The reason I'm using the subtopic is uh, it's easy to control the next moving. Those are two different graphics, or is do, are you doing a zoom in there, or is that a topic? Uh, I have only one graphic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, here's one graphic and you're making visible inside and outside. Hmm. Oh, I, okay, yeah. I understand that. Okay, yeah. excellent, excellent. So you use that image of the man standing, you mm -hmm. use it uh, as the topic cover, but also you make it visible outside and inside. So when you go, when you go into the topic, you still mm -hmm. see that section of the image. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. yes, that's right. All of the four topics has uh, the same structure. The, is a topic cover and the visible inside and outside. This is amazing. Mm, but at first time the Resi Next is was released, I was embarrassed. That I cannot do the same uh, Prezi graphic moving or Prezi graphic motion in Prezi Next. So after that, I changed my mind and enjoy the new structure of Great Next. This is very good. This presentation, you use it to showcase the spotlight uh, remote? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. This is the, uh, I approved it. <laughs> that's amazing. Yes. That's amazing. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> it's like a wizard. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. It's funny. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And you create presentation. You do create presentations with that kind of effect for your clients. This is just. Uh, I make this is for just fun. For fun. For yes. fun. Great. Yes. Yeah. But the Japanese animation company is interesting in uh, talking with them about uh, this type of presentation. But Japanese company is very interested in the Prezi video, uh, like uh, the AR style presentation. Right. Mm. The main company is interested in the such a such style of presentation. And uh, last year, 2020, I have uh, many requests to making the presentation with Prezi video from the Japanese company. It's, it's a very funny thing is uh, most of Japanese traditional company is not interested, was not interested in crazy next, but they are very interested in crazy video. Okay, Fuji, I, I, I'm so grateful that you have been investing this time with us. Great, mm -hmm. thank you. Thanks. Thank you very thank much, you. Fuji. Have thank a you. great one.